So if you're a big fan of all these military releases that have been coming out from FMS Model and Rock Hobby, you're in for a real treat today. What we have over here is the 112 scale Type 82E Commander Wagon. And I hope I got that pronunciation right, but this looks like it's gonna be a really cool kit to have in your collection. It's basically a Volkswagen Beetle. This is a split window. And I actually jumped on the opportunity to review this because uh, we had a bunch of Volkswagen Beetles in my family. I remember having maybe it was like a 72 or something when I was a kid they really like dark green and then in our backyard for the longest time we had a 1974 Super Beetle uh, that we were going to restore uh, my family and I and we just never got to it and sold it off so to kind of replace that I really wanted to review this RC car so I could have it in my collection but enough of my stories let's check out this kit here again it comes in this really great packaging from Rock Hobby this is a nice styrofoam case that you can go and store it in when it's not in use and uh, it's tucked away nicely in here so nothing happens to it check this thing out so cool can't wait to show you all the details on this uh, of course since it's a ready to run the radio system is included has all your basic trim functions that you're going to need on there and then at the bottom here we have the usb charger and the cross wrench that they give you in case you need to take the wheels off for some reason but uh, let's check this thing out uh, the Type 82E. Now the chassis on this is much like the Kubel wagon. So as you can see, you know, we've got that nice skid belly pan. Uh, it does have the four wheel drive, or excuse me, all wheel drive, I think they called it, or rear wheel drive selectable transmission. Got nice metal CV axles going to the wheels. Uh, the drive shaft is somewhere buried in the center. You can see the transmission back here. There are portals on the rear. Uh, and after discussion with a number of people, it just seems like they are a standard portal setup without any reduction in them and that's why there's no portals in the front uh you know so the drivetrain spins equally front and rear but really cool that it is a selectable transmission and uh, i went and dove right into the transmission stuff when i wanted to show you this body first all right so take a look at this thing i mean it's just a great representation of the volkswagen we have a lot of the military features here and there uh, you know no mirrors on there the anti-aircraft light the push bumper front and rear really nice detail to everything it's got this uh, desert sand uh, color to it. Uh, a fake soft top up above. It is not actually cloth. I thought maybe, you know, Rock Hobby, they'd put cloth up there since we saw in the Kubel wagon they had cloth seats but it doesn't. Uh, anyway, you know, it's got great windows to it. You do have to pull some uh, protective layers off the windshield so that doesn't get scratched in shipping, but you know, the side windows have the clear glass as well. Let me spin this thing around so you can see the split rear window. That looks awesome. Just love the styling of these old Beetles. Uh, obviously we've got the beetle style headlights the tail lights you know look at the trunk lid i'm bouncing around here but this is just a great model i love the look of this thing uh, let me slow down and show you guys under the hood so yes the hood actually pops up it's a little finicky you gotta kind of get the hood latch and just pull it straight up and once you do that it reveals the spare tire underneath, uh, which is really neat that they give you that to you. And uh, it actually covers up some of the electronics. So right behind it is the steering servo. And then we have the two-in-one receiver uh, and speed controller combo that also is the light function. So this has LED lights from the factory. And then uh, right next to it here is your small battery pack, which is a 7.4 volt battery pack. And again, you just throw that on a USB charger to charge it up, but everything is nicely wired your on off switches over here they even have some wire loom to hold the uh, the wires down and then let me spin this thing around that the hood just snaps closed so the engine cover actually pops up as well but what i found with this one is it actually hits the rear bumper so you kind of have to flex the rear bumper out to get this thing open kind of a bummer I, you know, I wish they clearance that a little bit better but once you pop it up you can see the uh, air-cooled engine which we saw on the Kubel wagon as well uh, there is a, um, a little circuit board back here for the LED lights but anyway you know the engine has plenty of detail and it does have the spinning belt pulley which is really cool which uh, you know actually controls the fan inside the fan shroud as well so I, I love that detail just really really cool now the other cool factor here is the doors do open 
and they open by actually pulling on the door handle. It opens up the, the little latch. We've got metal hinges and you get the seat inside. And inside we have these rubbery type seats, a vinyl rubber to them, uh, even down to just the basic mounts for the seats, just like a real VW would have. But uh, the rear seats are also rubberized. Then you got your steering wheel with the, you know, your VW replica dashboard. Just great details all over on this kit. Love the way it looks. Um, but back to the underside of it again, we already talked about the transmission. I jumped right into that early on. Uh, you can see the engine out back here, the exhaust pipe sticking out. Let me just hit on the suspension really quick. It's got a simple trailing arm suspension set up to it uh, with just springs for the damping. And uh, that's really about it. The tires on here, you got these narrow treaded tires uh, on wheels that bolt onto hubs. Uh, again, we, you could check out my Kuba Wagon review. There's a lot of detail about the chassis on in that review if you wanna know more about this kit. But this one, it, this review, it's all about this cool body and uh, love the way it looks. So so let's take it out for a quick run so we can see how the scale model drives. So I wound up having a great time behind the wheel of the Commander Wagon. All things considering, every trail around here is covered in snow and ice, so I had to find the perfect spot, and it wound up being at a local park underneath a bridge overpass where there was just a big dirt spot to drive in, little stream running through it, 
and it was the perfect scene for this thing. It looks so cool behind the camera. Hope you guys enjoyed that action sequence, but uh, this thing is pretty neat to drive. It's all about the scale experience, and this is a scale model. That's what you gotta think about when you're driving it. Um, it's got a pretty wide turning radius. You, you wind up doing a lot of K-turns if you're shooting video, uh, but you know, if you got a wide open dirt spot to run this thing in, this, this steering is fine. Uh, the differentials, the open differentials on here, it causes this thing to kind of skate around a little bit when you're crawling up hills, but over flat terrain, it's just really cool to watch. There's not a ton of suspension articulation, so you'll see some wheels pull up here and there, but again, it's all part of the fun of driving this scale VW. I love the look of the lights. I like the anti-aircraft light, and uh, it's just a blast to drive this. And when you're not driving it, it looks really cool on the shelf as well. The only issue I have with this thing is the bumpers are kind of fragile. I think I went and hit a dirt mat and it broke this side. I have to use some model glue to fix it, uh, but that's about it. it. It looks pretty cool out there. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Uh, I'll have links in the video description as well if you're interested in it. And if you wanna see more cool stuff from FMS, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Throw the video a like while you're at it. We'll see you back soon for some more RC driver videos.